Hey guys, Andre Smirnov here for the Fast Lane Truck with Nathan behind the camera. And behind me is a very cool rig, 2017 Ram Power Wagon with a really cool Jeep Wrangler in tow. This is a first drive event for the Power Wagon, but to get here, we wanted to see how the new truck tows, so we towed 9,000 pounds. That Jeep right back there is Nina Barlow's, which is the off-road guide for this event. And this is a little first drive towing review of the Power Wagon. Underneath the 2017 Power Wagon has the same powertrain. This is a 6.4 liter Hemi, good for 410 horsepower, 429 pound-feet of torque. It's backed up by a six-speed automatic transmission. It's the 66 RFE transmission. Of course, it's got 410 gears, beefy axles, disconnecting sway bar, and a winch. It's a proper power wagon, has a new face and a new interior, and it's also a towing rig. It's got towing mirrors. We brought 9,000 pounds here. So where are we going, dude? So we're gonna head out here and we're gonna take the more direct route because you guys are lucky enough to be able to tow with the power wagon. We have one vehicle set up with a trailer rig it has a dual axle trailer on it. We are going to a trail, to an off-road trail, right? The Logandale Trail is just uh, north of Vegas, around 50, 60 miles outside it. It's actually kind of on a cool little secret spot. You have Moab, you have Easter Jeep Safari, the more common off-road areas that people know, but Logandale is kind of a cool secret area and it's fun because you get a little bit of everything there. Okay, here's the thing about towing with off-road prepared pickup trucks like the 2017 Power Wagon, or even a Ford Raptor, or a TRD Pro, or a Pro 4X, any of them, is as soon as you put off-road ready suspension on it, as soon as you add all the options like you see on this Power Wagon, your payload ratings and your tow ratings go down. So, this truck you see right here, around 1,300 pounds of payload and just under 10,000 pounds of towing. It's still a truck, it still can do those things, but, one of its main purposes is off-roading. The important part about this, Nick, is that a power wagon is an off-road rig, but it can also tow a trailer, right? We build like it on we're, a, Like we're demonstrating here, right here. Yeah, we build it on a three-quarter ton platform, so you still get the same brakes, the same powertrain, big axles. Uh, it does have the 33-inch tires on it, a more compliant suspension, Bilstein shocks. So those things come into play because it sits higher. There is some stability and, and dynamics that have to come into the vehicle to still meet J2807 standards. So because the suspension is more compliant, you can't put as much payload and you can't tow as much as you can a standard 2500, Ram 2500, mm -hmm. but it's still a lot for a pickup truck that has the capability this does off-road. We're almost at the trailhead and uh, we went about almost 67 miles, almost all of it on the highway. Uh -huh. 9.2 MPGs according to the trip computer, which is not bad considering 9,000 pounds in tow. That's right. Um, and, you know, we're rolling at 70 miles an hour. Well, we just, were. It was just easy on yeah. the highway. I mean, it was just, it was no big deal. The transmission was shifting well. Tow haul mode was working. Down, you know, great shifting on the way down. Yep. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of power wagons are showing up. We're gonna take them on an off-road review, obviously, in these awesome trails near Las Vegas. But this was not a scientific review by any means of course we just drove here about 67 miles from las vegas and the truck pulled really well nice and stable 9,000 pounds go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world reviews and of course a lot more on the 2017 power wagon